So the Carl Anthony Towns trade to the New York Knicks is about as shocking as the fact that Mark Cuban actually sold the Dallas Mavericks. I am just saying what's interesting about this deal, and we'll get into it, is it was really about money for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Welcome to the underrated pod north america on today's show we are going to do a deep analysis of this particular deal which sent julius randall and a member of the villanova connection dante divincenzo to the minnesota timberwolves for carl anthony towns who's now a proud member and in a new york state of mind of the new york knicks now First of all, we are going to take this from the New York Knicks perspective, then we'll talk about the Timberwolves perspective, and then we'll get into why the Timberwolves actually did this deal, uh, which actually really revolves around the holy dollar. That's right, money in North America was a big reason that the Minnesota Timberwolves actually made this deal. All right, so on to the New York Knicks. now. In terms of Carl Anthony Towns playing in Madison Square Garden, playing for his former coach, Tom Thibodeau, when I heard this deal went down, I was absolutely 100% shocked, just stunned that Tom Thibodeau would want to have a second run with Carl Anthony Towns on his particular team. But when you actually look at this New York Knicks roster now, and you see where Carl Anthony Towns can potentially fit in, it is, quite frankly, one of the most versatile NBA rosters, at least on paper, going into the upcoming season. So, sure, Carl Anthony Towns isn't really going to play a lot of really difficult defense for you, New York, and yes, Carl Anthony Towns is going to complain a lot about foul calls. You better get used to that, New York Knicks fans. And there will be times that you will be absolutely just baffled by what Carl Anthony Towns actually does. That being said, could you really see Julius Randle actually winning an NBA title for the New York Knicks? And I think the Knicks organization came to the conclusion a while ago that that probably wasn't going to happen. Now, in terms of actually losing Dante DiVincenzo, that was the piece of this deal for the Knicks that I actually didn't like. I think sometimes you can undervalue the value of a role player, especially a role player with a lot of heart and a role player that can actually put up 30 points a game for you. So I think the Knicks, the Villanova connection is certainly going to be missed to some extent, both by the Knicks fans, as well as by Tom Thibodeau and the rest of the New York Knicks players. But at the end of the day, on paper, this certainly looks like a good deal for the New York Knicks. It certainly should put the New York Knicks in the Eastern Conference Finals conversation and even to the point that if everybody is healthy, this roster, at least on paper, could certainly give the Boston Celtics a run for their money. As for the Minnesota Timberwolves, the starting lineup is actually going to be Mike Connolly, Julius Randle, Rudy Gobert, Ant-Man, and McDaniels. That is your Minnesota Timberwolves starting lineup on day one. And, you know, at the end of the day, it is a very interesting starting lineup. Now, if you're a Timberwolves fan, what you probably should be most excited about is Dante DiVincenzo, who is certainly going to bring a lot of heart charisma, and three-point shooting, which is desperately needed by this Timberwolves team. Now, for a team that was actually just in the Western Conference Finals, it is a bit of a shock to the system to uh, attempt to go to sleep last night and then get the notification that Carl Anthony Towns a cornerstone of your franchise has actually been traded away to the New York Knicks. And what you got back in return was Julius Randle and Dante DiVincenzo. 
So I'm sure Timberwolves fans are still trying to, if you will, process exactly how they actually feel about this deal. Now, I talked about Dante, but I do want to spend a little bit of time super quick here talking about Julius Randle. Julius Randle, who has historically been a bit of an underrated player in the National Basketball Association. Will Julius Randle actually fit in with Rudy Gobert? And for that matter, who does fit in with Rudy Gobert? So I think Julius Randle certainly, like Dante, does bring a lot of heart to the basketball court and certainly will be running up and down on both sides of the court. Uh, How will this all work out with Ant-Man? Is this a long-term play for the Minnesota Timberwolves? Or is this just a... Uh, the first step in another move that the Timberwolves will make at some point between now and the trading deadline as Julius Randle is in the last year of his deal. So there's a lot of questions that still need to be answered on the Timberwolves front. If I was grading this for the New York Knicks, you're basically giving the New York Knicks a B plus and for the Minnesota Timberwolves a B minus just simply because you're not sure exactly what they're going to do with Julius Randle. I am not concerned about Dante DiVincenzo fitting in with the Timberwolves. The question is, will Julius Randle fit in? Will the Timberwolves actually go ahead and extend him? And if they don't, what's the next move down the road for the Timberwolves? Now, let's talk about why this deal was actually done from a Timberwolves perspective. We know why the New York Knicks did it, but from a Timberwolves perspective, the real issue here for them is salary cap. And at the end of the day, they wanted to unload as much of Carl Anthony Towns' salary as they possibly could. And ultimately for the Timberwolves fans who just went, and I should say long, long, long-suffering Minnesota Timberwolves fans who just went to the Western Conference Finals, they had to do something, and this is exactly what they did. And let's just be honest with each other. This was done purely for money. The Timberwolves are going to need to free up some salary cap. They don't want to end up in that top level of the luxury tax And that's exactly where they would be if they had held on to Carl Anthony Town. All right. So those are my thoughts on this particular deal as it all went down. Just absolutely shocking. I would love to get your opinions. Please go and drop those in when you have a chance. For the Underrated Pod, I am Dave DeBaugh wishing you all a tremendous rest of your sports viewing day to the cool new music we go this is phoenix